I2I Engineering would like to introduce our material tote handling system. The material tote handling system is designed to take product off a production line to be stored into totes, or to take product stored into totes and be reintroduced to the production line. This particular system utilizes a collaborative robot, electric actuator, conveyor, and a whole bunch of sensors. All products are integrated using a compact logics processor. This particular system was designed for card handling. Card handling can be a long and tedious process, but when it's automated, it's as simple as a couple operator inputs, and it's off and running with minimal operator interaction. The system is easily transitioned from loading to unloading with small mechanical changes and quick disconnects for all cables and pneumatic lines. One of the entry points to the system is the transfer conveyor. It moves product into or out of the system depending on the selected mode. At the heart of the system is the staging table. In loading mode, it organizes incoming product into precise arrays for the robot to pick and to place into bins. In the unloading mode, the robot transfers product arrays from the bins onto the staging table for reintegration into the production line. The workhorse of the system is an OBO i10 robot, powered by the OBO CBM controller. This robot performs all pick and place tasks. It uses a custom designed end of arm tool with three pressure switches to ensure secure handling of all product arrays. This end of arm tool can be customized to meet your specific needs. In loading mode, empty bins are placed into designated bin stations by the operator. Once full, the system's pick light alerts the operator for removal. If a bin is removed prematurely, the system skips the position and continues operation as normal. In unloading mode, full bins are loaded into stations. The robot retrieves product arrays and places them on the staging table for output into the production line. Again, if a bin is pulled mid-cycle, the system adapts by skipping the position without hesitation. Exclusive to the unloading process is the product inserter. It is attached to the end of the transfer conveyor to control how product is reintroduced into the production line. This particular one uses an x-axis actuator and dual z-axis pneumatic actuators to push product into cases using one of three size-specific pushing hands. The system includes a multicolor stack light for basic machine status feedback from any visible point in your plant. Red signifies faults, yellow warnings or operator prompts, green automatic or manual mode status, and blue means the machine needs a reset. A horn provides an audible fault alert in case you cannot see the stack light. The HMI has a wonderful alarm banner at the top of the screen. This alarm banner is visible no matter what page of the HMI you are on. This allows users to see an alarm and navigate screens to try to gather information about what may have caused the alarm. Starting up the system is simple. Provide power to it from the plant. Provide air to it from the plant. Engage the main electrical disconnect. Engage the main shutoff valve. Wait for the system to boot up fully, including the PLC, HMI, and robot. Once the system has booted up fully, follow the instructions on the HMI display to start the machine running. To load a bin, insert into any of the empty stations. In front of the system, seize the bin on the HMI. Tap the touch button until it turns green so the system knows the bin is ready to use. The system is built for performance and adaptability. If you have a process that you think the material tote handling system can help you with, contact I2I Engineering. We'd be happy to work with you and customize the machine to meet your specific needs.